Thanks for tuning in to the Women's Vibrancy Code, a podcast dedicated to helping women move from exhausted to energized, balance their hormones, and feeling turned on by their life, their lover, and themselves. I'm your host, Mariah Brown. I'm a Yale and functional medicine trained women's health expert, midwife, mom, keynote speaker, and self-made entrepreneur. I'm the founder of my signature program, the Women's Vibrancy Code. So sit back relax, and let's chat about your energy, hormones, libido, and embracing your feminine power. Oh, and you might want to have pen and paper to take some notes on some of these episodes. Wanda, do you want to just introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. Um, I'm Wanda with Premier Business Solutions. Um, I have an accounting firm and we work with elite entrepreneurs and I am an expert tax strategist. Mm-hmm. And Mariah helps me stay sane. <laughs> Tell me more <laughs> about that. In what way do you feel like you're staying sane? Wow. Well, I feel I'm like a totally different person than I was when we first met. Um, and, you know, life was in control of me and I was not in control of it. Mm. And, um, yeah, so it's just so, so, so much. But, um, you know, setting boundaries and doing the self-care and, you know, the, you know, even my diet and, and the supplements and, and even understanding the whys, you know, like with the Dutch test and, things of that sort. It's, it's, it's been wonderful. Yeah. It's been wonderful. I'm so glad to have you. When you say that life was in control of me, how did that show up for you in your life, in the roles that you played in relationships and family and friends and work? Um, what did that look like? Yeah, I, I was, I was that one, you know, being the go-to for the family and you have to rescue everyone at least so I thought (laughs) you know what I mean Mm -hmm. and um running my business and everybody and everything was priority except for me Mm. yeah right so me as the priority yeah and I didn't even understand that until I met you Mm, I'm so glad that we met We shared a coach. We had the same coach for a little bit. And then that's how we met. And so when you think back to when you were thinking about saying yes to the women's vibrancy code, what got in the way? What made you decide to say yes? Again, putting everything else first and everybody else first. And so, you know, my first thought was, you know, that's a huge investment. And, you know, that's something I was used to doing for my business coach from my business but something I really hadn't even thought about for myself you know for me personally um and then I just was sick and tired of being sick and tired how about that and I was like you know what I'm worth it you know I'm worth it and so yeah so I took the plunge does it make you think of that song I'm worth it (laughs) not that I'm I can't but you know the one I'm thinking of, right? I do, I do. Yes. <laughs> oh, that makes me want to dance. Okay. So um, we've been together. You're now on your second year, and you've been to one of the women's vibrancy retreats. Yes. Um, what's changed? Everything. Everything. Everything's changed. It's like, like I said, now I understand, you know. The wise, like if I'm feeling a little bit sluggish, you know, I can think like, okay, what did I do differently? You know, because when we, when you read the, the, the Dutch test and what have you, and I saw the times where I just kind of like plummeted, plateaued, like, I mean, not plateaued, literally plummeted. Um, and I was like, yeah, that does me, that's me, you know, and I'm just like totally out of energy or what have you. I don't have those peaks and valleys anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm just... I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's been a huge change that I've noticed. And so it sounds like a a lot of learning, a lot of shifting in how you prioritize yourself and say, I'm worth it. 
but then also the personalized quantifiable numbers to go, okay, we looked at my Dutch test, we looked at my GI map, whatever the test might have been, and you're like, whoa, that makes so much sense. So I know you and I understand a little bit of a pretty good amount about your lifestyle and what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. But then we can also look at the numbers and come up with a really personalized plan. Yeah. 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 What else? What, what, when you, as you prioritize yourself and as you feel more stable and you don't have the big troughs and valleys and mountains or whatever the saying is, and um, as you invest in yourself and you stop rescuing others and you feel more in control of your life, what change does that create? You actually just, you feel better. I feel better. You know, I'm showing up for me now, you know, in spite of all of the noise around me, the people around me that are like, what's wrong with her? (laughs) You know, like I called and I need this. What's wrong with her? You know, she's not, but it's like, no, we have boundaries. And, and, and actually Mariah, I was thinking about this earlier, showing up for myself um, has helped me personally, but it's also helped me in my business. So, Mm -hmm. like I said, you know, investing in business coaching and what have you. Okay. That's been great, you know, for in most cases. Mm-hmm. However, what was missing? What was missing was me showing up and investing in myself, doing the work for me. Because now not only am I showing up for myself, I'm showing up better as a better CEO for my business as well. Yeah. Right. That is I just love- like so huge. Yeah. I love that you say that because some people are like, well, I can invest in my business coaching because I know that there's a direct ROI. If I build the business, I'm going to make more money and then it can pay for this. And I go, how is it that we don't connect the dots? When you feel better and you have the brain clarity and the energy to make it through the day and you're sleeping better and you're setting priorities and you're feeling good, talk about an ROI and how you build your business, how you interact with your team members and your staff and your clients. And the, and once again, people don't remember what we say, or what we do. They remember how we make them feel. Right. Right. And it sounds like I'm hearing people respond to you like, whoa, look at Wanda, send some, send some boundaries. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So in the midst of the women's vibrancy code, you had access to group calls. You had access to one-on-one time with me, one-on-one time with the nutritionist, plus the modules and the testing when, and, and Scott and Eva, when you think about, and all of the guest experts that I brought on, brought on each month, when you think, when you kind of sift through the, the, the buffet of options that you had, what were some of the most potent and most impactful for you? Let me just say, I was thinking today, as I looked at my insurance payment, my health insurance payment going out, I was like, I don't need that. I have Mariah and her crew. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, um, you know, and and really, I joke about that, but it's like, you know, I I would really reach out to you before consulting with a doctor, to Mm. be quite honest. And the fact that even if I go to the doctor and, you know, get some testing done, just knowing that I can upload them and you can look at them and I would have more of a thorough analysis. That's huge for me. Um, Chrissy is on. Chrissy has been such a blessing to me with the rest sessions. I mean, I get so filled up when I think about that. Um, She has helped me work through a lot of the stuff, just Mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff. And, um, you know, and even with the nutritionist and, you know, meeting with her and, and just finding out about, you know, the stuff in my gut and needing to do the cleanse and everything and just really taking a deep dive in that. And then you, you know, you come in and you just clarify all of that. And then the DHA with the hormonals and, and everything. It's, it's, it's just been wonderful. And even Scott with the mindset, you know, I may not have been on every call, but each call that I was on, I've really, really gleaned things yeah. from something from, and, um, and our one-on-one was phenomenal. Hmm. So I have nothing but like great things. And, and if I can say even Michael in the background, you know, helping yeah. me with mom and, you know, yeah. so it's just been huge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love it, Wanda. And, and, you know, I think the beauty of it is each woman that comes in, like I said, there's kind of a buffet of options. 
depending on how much time someone wants to spend, do you like group, do you like one-on-one? What has been your experience of the community of women? Oh, it's been great. It's been great. I, I actually, I'm so glad that I went to the retreat because I was able to, you know, be up close and personal and really, you know, get to know everyone and everyone's just so supportive and, you know, just so loving and encouraging, you know, mm-hmm. so that's been huge. And even being able to build on one another, you know, like on the call last week, and I think it was Sherry that share something and it was like a light bulb came on it's like yeah I can totally relate to that you know mm-hmm. and um yes it's just been good and then you know we reach out on Facebook every now and again you know hey you know how you doing just checking in and and what have you so it, it's been good yeah well I'm so grateful for you anything else that you want to say about mm, just who you've had to be along the journey to have the transformation that you've had and how it's you know it's creating a ripple effect for the future version of you. Yeah, yeah. I really just had to be open, really open to things that, one, we never discussed before, you know, with the sexologists and what have you. And we talked about that, you know, growing up, we didn't talk about sex. I mean, who does that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, and really open to, you know, all the wisdom that's been shared with me. It's its mm-hmm. just been wonderful. And open to the change, desiring a better me, mm-hmm. you know, and doing the work, you know, of what needed to be done and still needs to be done. I haven't arrived by any stretch of the imagination, but I've come a long ways. You know, I don't yeah. think there is an arrival. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I would just say that, you know, if you say, well, no, I can't afford that. You know, you can't afford not to. Mm-hmm. You can't afford not to, because again, it's huge. It, it, it affects your, your business, your family, your relationships and what have you. But more than anything, it, it helps you. It's helped me to fully show up mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm so glad That's that you know that. I love working with you. It's so fun for me. It just, Aww. you know, I feel like my zone of genius gets to be expressed every day. Oh, and I appreciate you too. I do. Thank you for your time, Wanda. My pleasure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kathleen. Hello. How are you? There. There you are. Hi. Hello. How are you? Great. It's nice to see you. And, and you're obviously home. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So really quick, just introduce yourself. You want to tell the listeners in Facebook and watching the recording, the replay, and that are here on Zoom, who is Miss Kathleen Cameron? Oh my gosh. I am a mom of two beautiful girls. They are my pride and joy. I also have a third baby. She's called Diamond Academy, which is my coaching academy. (laughs) And uh, I'm a manifestation coach. Uh, I teach law of attraction, power of the mind, uh, all those beautiful things. I formally trained with Bob Proctor and started my career with him. Uh, Greatest teacher of all time of law of attraction. And now for the past two years, I've been uh, running my own business, my own intellectual property coaching, mentoring, and uh, just creating a life of time and financial freedom for myself. Mm -hmm. And so you are, in my opinion, a tremendous powerhouse CEO in the world with a great deal of ripple effect. You're changing a lot of lives. So sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Doing what I love. Doing what you love. And so when you think about how you have shown up as the CEO of your health, and the CEO of your relationships. Hmm. What does that look like? Well, it's it's been very transformative this year. I, I will say the least. Uh, you know, it's it's been uh, it's been a learning and it's been growth and and everything that I've experienced internally is now expressing itself on the outside. And so uh, my health has become a primary focus. And I say that as in, I've accepted the idea that I'm healthy instead of trying to, you know, I was believing that I wasn't trying to become it. Um, I've accepted the identity that I'm health and that I'm healthy and that longevity is how I live every single day. And um, of course I bring beautiful Mariah into my life at a time when I chose that. 
Uh, and so she's been alongside me, guiding me along this entire journey of, you know, my physical transformation uh, and in terms of my health, but also relationships too. her and I chat a lot about that. Um, I'm a newly single woman, so it's been well, it's been almost a year, um, but life is is different in both of those respects. And and it's it's transformative in a really, uh, really beautiful way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I remember, so for those of you that don't know, uh, Kathleen's one of my VIP clients. And I remember when you first said yes, and we started working together and I got a text and you're like, I'm making a lot of people cry. A lot of people sat out there because there was a, a number of people oh, yeah. and experts and healthcare providers and health coaches reaching out to you saying, Kathleen, hire me, Kathleen. Oh gosh, it was it was it was an abundance because uh, one year ago, May tenth, um, so not even a year ago, I had a health uh, awareness, and so I had lung surgery and was in the ICU with a chest tube and all of these things. And um, when I came out of that, I decided, okay, I'm taking this serious now. I, I'm really my health is most is most important. Longevity of my vessel is key. I'm gonna love myself to become the best of myself, which now includes my vessel. And uh, so when I like publicly said that, I had all of these people reaching out to me, like, I can help you, I wanna help you, I wanna help you. Uh, and nobody, I, I didn't really resonate with anyone to be really honest, but when I met Mariah in Miami, it was like, okay, yeah, I think I've found her. Mm. Yeah. It was love at first sight. I remember we were in the pool and it was like, everyone just kind of, we, we had a big bubble around us. They all left us, they all left us alone. They could feel Feel that the energy between us was so powerful and so like we had started with a big group of people in the pool and then i don't know how long we were talking for but we look around and it was like everyone's gone long enough that we both had to go pee <laughs> we did. it was that long um and what has changed so far so i think you've shared publicly mm -hmm. that i think on two different occasions over your life you've lost 100 pounds yeah, almost three times, like almost three times, 80 pounds once and then 100 pounds twice. Mm -hmm. And since we've been working together, there has been change on the scale. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not I, it's not for me. It's not as important for some. It becomes a quantifiable measure that's relevant. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious, what is different now mm -hmm. in your journey? And also what has changed in how you feel since mm -hmm. we have been working together? Yeah, I love these questions. Uh, I'm, I uh, I have rebelled against discussing the number on the scale now because for me before it was such a big deal. It was like I used to count down the 10 pounds and then I would post it on social media and be like, look at me, I'm doing so good. I'm down another 10. So now I don't I don't want to publicly say it, but it, but it is uh, this, you know, the amount of a small child more than that. Um, but, you know, like physically now, um, I've had to buy an entire new wardrobe, uh, probably th about three sizes smaller than I was before. Um, but it's more things like the, the amount of movement I can do, the flexibility I can do. I mean, I hiked Runyon Canyon, uh, in an hour and a half the first time, uh, two weeks, three weeks ago, I guess now, uh, I did it in an hour and a half then I did it in an hour and then I did it in 40 minutes, um, over the course of the week with my friend, Eric. Um, and I am stronger. I am more flexible. Like my heartburn has reduced. I don't lose my voice. Like I used to, um, I listened to myself actually back, uh, from stuff about a year ago. And I can actually hear in my voice, heavier breathing. Uh, whereas now I just feel light and ease and flow and all that kind of stuff. But the, the beautiful thing is I, I seek nutritional things. So I ask myself, like, does this drink I'm about to have, have a nutritional value? Like, does it help me in any way? And if the answer is no, I'm like, yeah, I don't want it. So I'm always asking that. And then now I actually crave healthy food. So I, I, I've only eaten salad this year. My whole life, I despised it, and now it's my favorite food. Um, so all kinds of things. Um, but in terms of me and how I feel, I really do feel like my outside is reflecting my inside. And um, it is just such a beautiful ease and flow at which I'm doing versus my past and, and what I wanted to. It was all about how I looked before. This isn't about how I look. This is about really taking care of my body and being here for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I think it's so cool that you brought up the changes in the voice. So mm -hmm. 
we found in her GI map, when mm -hmm. you met with Katie and I, yeah. we found something in her GI map that kind of gave reasoning as to what was happening with a, a changes in her voice and especially mm -hmm. for someone that speaks a lot and clearing and heartburn. Mm -hmm. And so how cool that we could give you a very personalized approach to go, we looked at your poop <laughs> and it gave us some answers. You're so funny. Yeah, totally. No, it was so helpful. And actually like most of the things that came back were, were not like shocking. They actually were like, this makes total sense. But I think what I love the most, Mariah, was so many people tell you to take this supplement and eat in this way and stop having this. And they just say it because it's like a one size fits all approach to everything and everyone. Mm -hmm. And it just it, that makes no sense. So what I loved was, you know, after all of that came back, we met and with Katie and, um, you know, we actually said, like, OK, so what do you think you should take? And this is what you guys recommend based on what the results were saying. Mm -hmm. That made all the sense in the world. I, I don't know why that doesn't happen all the time. I have another question for you, and that's around investing heavily in yourself. Hmm. For the woman, and this is great because this, I mean, for, for those of you that don't know, Kathleen is really, she's an expert in the world, in the world of manifestation and really changing um, how we see ourselves hmm. um, in order to create the life that we want to create. And you might have your own different words that you would use, but that's how I describe you. Yep. And so for a woman who is hungry, to say yes to herself. She feels like this could be a solution for her. And yet there is fear around investing heavily in herself. How, what do you, how do you make those decisions? Cause I know, I mean, for you, I think it's probably fair to say you've made hundred thousand dollar investments for yourself. Oh, oh, I've, my biggest investment in myself was 330,000. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so who did you need to be to do that? You know, the biggest thing is when you're investing in yourself for whatever it is, if you're joining a mastermind or a course or a coach or whatever that is, it's always about your sense of worthiness and your sense of faith in you and what you're going to do with it and how you're going to create. So for me, I sign up for things and I invest in me based on how I feel about me. It's not about the mentor or the course or the program, because I know that I function. I work. I'm committed. I'm here. I'm going to do the work. And so I, I trust me before anything else. Sometimes I think the fear is, is am I, am I going to invest in this and this, will this work for me? No, no. Will I work for me? That's the biggest thing. And so every time I, re I invest or I reinvest in myself, it's an, another opportunity for me to step into the best of myself, to be the confident version of me, to be the worthy version of me, to be the version of me that says yes to herself and her own growth. Every single time I've invested, I've brought that money back in double, triple, quadruple every yeah. single time. And yeah. it doesn't have to be an investment into my business, you know, like every investment that I've made up until the investment with you, Mariah, was coaching, was like a course, a, a coaching program or something like that. And it was related to my business. So it was like, I'm going to sign up for this coaching and I'm going to invest in this. And so then my business will grow and I'll make more money. So, okay, this, this is reasonable. But then investing with you, it was like, well, this is about my health. This is about longevity. This is about my vessel. This is, this isn't about my business per se. Like I know the connection, but it was finally saying, okay, this is going to be about Kathleen, the woman. And when I signed up for you uh, to work with you, Mariah, it was, it was a moment in time where I said, you know what? I am everything. I am my universe. Like everything that is around me and that happens is coming from me. And if I'm not focusing on my health then I'm not going to be here to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. So it was really a, a prioritization. It was less about investing more money into my business, but investing into my own health. And it's been a completely different perspective because it's not about a rush. It's not about trying to look a certain way. It's not about a wedding I'm trying to go to. It's about how can I learn the skills to take care of this vessel now for the long run mm -hmm. and do big things while I'm here. Mm -hmm. And how do you think that's changed how you show up as a mom, how you show up as a CEO, how you show mm -hmm. up as... Uh, a woman now single, possibly looking for a partner, if that is something that you're desiring. 
how what changes as you've started to identify with health mm -hmm. oh everything changes you know i would um I would say that the biggest thing for me is really stepping into a version of myself that really believes in what I teach. And I teach how to, you know, build a massive business and, a, and an extraordinary life through the ease and flow and through uh, taking care of who you are, including your, you know, your spirituality, your intellectual mind and your physical body. And so now for me, it's a sense of wholeness. And so that sense of wholeness comes when I'm taking care of all parts of me. And like today, you know, I put a pair of earrings on and some lipstick on because I was coming here, but I was at the spa all day and like, I don't work Fridays. So people will be like, you don't work for, no, I don't really work Tuesdays and I don't really work Fridays. And yeah, I have an eight figure business. And those are decisions that I made to really, really live and practice what I preach. And my team today, we're doing self-care, self-love Fridays every day. So now every Friday, I want them to go and do something that they love and do something for themselves and take care of themselves. And um, the one thing that I think is so beautiful, I had, a, I had a session with my trainer, who's a really good friend of mine, Eric, uh, yesterday. And I get down there, <laughs> we're ready to go. And then Reagan shows up, which is my eight-year-old daughter. She shows up in her running shoes, her little shorts and her t-shirt, and she's ready to work out with us. And I just thought that that was so beautiful because um, she's starting to mimic more of my positive behaviors instead of some of the ones that weren't necessarily so positive before. Yes. Yeah. Because they do what we do, not what we say. Totally. I can tell her one thing, but it's watching, you know, it's, it's really just, they pay attention and they just absorb it. And she's been saying things to me. She'll say, is this healthy mom? Is this nutritional? Mm. Is this nutritional? And I'm like, yeah, girl. And I had a moment of confusion. I'm actually talking to Eric this weekend. I don't know if I told you oh, that. Oh, good. Okay. Um, but isn't Reagan in Toronto and Eric's in LA and you were... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Eric is in LA. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he lives in LA, but we did a Zoom. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. I love um, Eric's training style and working with him now because he's more feminine. Uh-huh. Not yeah, so he, hard. He's starting to pick my brain about exercising based on a 28 day cycle. So we're yeah. going to have, well, that's why I told him, that's why I told him he needs to reach out to you because I'm like, yeah. cause he trains a lot of clients. I'm like, well, do you ever consider the moon cycle? And do you ever consider a woman's cycle? Yeah. And he was like, no, I'm like, well, you got to talk to Mariah then. <laughs> there we have it. I'm going to talk to him. I had my period one day and I said, Eric, I have my period and I want to take it easy. And he was like, yeah. okay, sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, I want to honor your time. One thing I heard you say is that you support individuals doing it with ease and flow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've taken one of Kathleen's courses and that was the big piece. You know, as I get into my own self-reflection with how I show up as a CEO, mm -hmm. I watched patterns of and assumptions that it felt complicated when it comes to all the team and hiring and onboarding and I would, and, and more money, somehow I had these old beliefs and assumptions that um, played out around it being complicated. And instead, mm -hmm. I could hear from Kathleen and go, right, it can absolutely feel easy and it can absolutely be in flow. Oh, yeah. And so I love the reciprocation. You know, this isn't, this isn't just a one way street. Yeah. And I want to, I want to just quickly share something to Mariah, because I was reflecting today while I was at the spa. Um, I think one of the most beautiful things is, is that you've really gotten to know me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you've really, um, taken the time to listen and to pay attention to, you know, maybe some of my past behaviors and feelings and stuff like that. And then where do I want to go and how do I want to see things and how do I want to, uh, treat my body and, and how do I want this journey to be? Mm -hmm. And when I messaged you this week, I loved that you actually like, and I don't, I don't think I got to really respond because I listened to all your voice notes and then I had to get on a call right away. Yeah. Um, but I love how you didn't just tell me what I wanted to hear about. You literally said, well, I don't think this is actually how you want it to be though, Kathleen. Mm -hmm. You know, like it was like, instead of rushing this, um, just celebrate. And that was so powerful. I actually have the post ready to go up for tomorrow to talk about celebrating myself because what I did and what you picked up on is I went right back into the old me around um, this journey and uh, weight loss for a second there. I went back to the old me and was like, okay, I want this to pick up now. Let's go. <laughs> 
Let's make it faster. And you were like, whoa, like, why don't you celebrate you, Mm -hmm. celebrate the changes that you've made so far. And so I went back and looked at some old photos. I went back and listened to myself before. And I started writing out all the ways in which I'm different and I feel different um, in order to celebrate it, to then pause in this moment and just be. And then what will be will be. And I know that. Like, yes. I know what the outcome is. I know where I'm headed, but it's it's taking the moment to pause. And I thought that was really beautiful was yeah. just how, how um, open you were to getting to know me and seeing me and then giving me back what I actually needed and not, you yeah. know, the opposite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I really, when it comes to the VIP clients, I keep that very intimate hmm. and, um, I do. I lean in and I love you dearly. Mm -hmm. And I want you to feel spectacular, maybe as much as you want to feel spectacular. Yeah. Um, Okay. Last question. When you think about all the changes that have taken place and the the changes that feel personalized in their diet and their nutrition and their lifestyle and perpetually uh, adjusting how we choose to see ourselves, all of that. Yeah. What new hope do you have for the future version of yourself? Oh my gosh. Like, it's so interesting because I didn't realize how many limitations I actually had around my physical body before until now, you know, I, and I would say, I don't want to do that. Like back then, like when my body was larger and not as flexible and not able to do as much, you know, going up a flight of stairs would, I would be out of breath when I would get to the top. So I would always take the elevator and things like that. Um, going out to vacations and things like that. If there was like a excursion, like a hike or yoga or something like that, I'd be like, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. But it, but I don't think it ever really was. I don't want to do that. It was more, I can't do that. Mm. Or this is going to be too hard and things like that. So now I think about upcoming trips or, you know, I, I travel a lot just in life in general. Like I'm going to spend the month of, of April in LA and I'm like, okay, I wonder where's all the hikes I can find. Where's all these fun adventures I can go on. Like, where's the things that I can do physically to have more fun, yeah. you know? And so it's opened up my eyes to so many more um, opportunities mm-hmm. and experiences. Mm-hmm. And then I just think about how much longer my body is going to last me now. It's going to last me through all of this amazing work that I get to do over the course Mm -hmm. of my life. But I think the most important thing is the impact on my girls. Like my girls are learning new behaviors, new habits, new ways of seeing the world. They're seeing a woman now who is taking care of herself every single day. Yeah. Like every single day. It gives me chills. Yeah. It's beautiful. And yes, when you're in LA, you and Eva can potentially meet up in person and you're going to be at the women's vibrancy retreat next month. And I'm taking you on a hike as part of the retreat. Let's go. I'm ready, girlfriend. Let's go. Let's go. Anything else? Any last parting words that feel important to say? I just think for me, I've really, really decided to put longevity over vanity. And I think we would never say that we are vain. We wouldn't look at this and say, okay, I'm a vain person. But if I look back on my experience of yo-yo dieting for 25, 30 years, it was all about my appearance. It was all about what I look like. That's it. Mm -hmm. And so when somebody would go to the gym and they were in a thin body, I would say, why are you going to the gym? Like, why do you need to go? Or if a thin person would order a salad, I'd be like, why are you eating that healthy food? Are you trying to lose weight? It didn't. I, it didn't compute because the messaging that I received for so long was you should do this. You should do that. It was never, I want to. And so now I really try as much as I possibly can to think about the inside of my body more than the outside of my body. Yes. So I'm really yes. asking the question of, does this thing support me? Does this experience make me better? Does this food give me the nutrition that I require and how can I treat my body in a better way? And so this is the first time that I've um, lightened up, I will say, lightened up. Um, This is the first time I've lightened up with so much ease and flow, to be quite honest, like just living my life, existing every single day and just being a healthy version of me. And where some people like my audience doesn't congratulate me on weight loss because they know. Um, But what some people, you know, want to say is like you're, you're shrinking or you're slimming down. I actually believe I'm expanding. 
I really believe that my tour date field is expanding, expanding, my reach is expanding, my power is expanding, um, my love is expanding. And so I'm actually being a greater amplified version of myself other than slimming or shrinking down. Yep. And your energy is expanding. Your ability to move is expanding. Your clarity of thought is expanding. Your lifespan is expanding. Because I can tell you, I have a lot. I've seen many very thin women that might look like they're fit. And oh, yeah. I'll look at their CRP as an example, which is a reflection of their total inflammation. Yeah. Or their homocysteine level, which is a reflection of their cardiovascular well-being and a broad stroke. And have a conversation with them and they feel like crap and their their blood work or their GI map is totally crazy. Their adrenals are exhausted. And I go, okay, they might look like someone that you want to see on a magazine, totally. but they're not sleeping well. They're not confident. Mm. They don't have energy in the day. They feel mm. unfulfilled in their relationships. They don't have a sex life. Oh. And we go, is that really what we want? Just so we can look beautiful in the mirror, according to others. Uh, uh I know. And so that's why health really cannot be health can really, really not be indicative of your appearance at all. And I really like to step back and away from that mm -hmm. and really think about, you know, our yeah. behaviors and how we feel. Yeah. And it can be a both and because I see changes in your skin. Mm. And for me, when I see someone's skin that has that glow, I know the skin is the largest organ in the body. Yeah. I think of it as the most vocal organ. Mm -hmm. And it is it is singing at the mountaintops that your cells within your body are firing and much more healthy and swift yeah. mm -hmm. and clean and toxin free and all of that. Okay, I could go on and on forever. I just love you so much and I love working with you. <laughs> love you too. Love you too. And I'll see you in March. Okay, sounds good. See okay, you soon. ciao, ciao.